Hi, my Road Rudder friends. Well, I have a new story for you today. And this one came from uh, Barnes & Noble. Just love to visit that store. So many fun and interesting books. Today's story is called When Pencil Met the Markers. It is by Karen Kilpatrick and Louis O. Ramos Jr. It's illustrated by German Blanco. And this is a story about mm, coloring, but not really. As we get through the story, be thinking about what this story is trying to teach us. It's trying to teach us something about ourselves. In the back, it says, the true story of how the markers learned to color outside the lines. Now, in this story, the pencil and the marker and all the markers talk to one another. So I want you to think, is this story going to be fiction or nonfiction? Remember, fiction is when a story is fake, fiction. Nonfiction means the story is not fake, so it's real. So sit back and enjoy when pencil met the markers. Now, as always with the dust cover, I like to take it off because I don't want to crunch it as I read it. I'm good at doing that, crunching dust covers. And let's begin when pencil met the markers. Oh my, I love this. There is purple marker. Purple marker drew everywhere. Kind of like a little brother or sister who likes to draw everywhere. And I want you also to look at the cover. Look at how the word markers is colored in. Gosh, everything is in the line, so neat. Oh, and then there's Purple's turn. That's a little bit of, hint of a hint. Once there was a pack of markers and they all hopped out and Purple's yelling, wait for me! Who loved to color. There they are. They're coloring that great ice cream float. And there was a purple marker. Everyone remember, stay inside the lines. That purple marker who loved to color everywhere. So the markers are coloring, reminding everyone to stay inside the lines. Hmm. Purple marker doesn't really stay inside the lines and kind of makes everything one color. Outside the lines and all over the place. Just enjoys coloring everywhere. And here he is going, cool, right? With a big thumbs up. But the other markers didn't think it was cool at all. So I want you to look close at Purple's coloring and then the other markers coloring. I bet you're noticing, noticing a difference. The rest of the markers kept coloring inside the lines, but Purple kept coloring outside the lines. So when you look at the other markers, they don't look so happy. But Purple's pretty happy with his coloring. He's just different. Now all of the markers are talking. Black is saying, that's a mistake. Green is saying, you got purple on my green, dude. Red is saying, think of the lines like a stop sign. Blue is saying, oh, sake blue. And then all of them are saying, we're not sure that you fit here. Purple felt blue. 
Now blue has a lot of different meanings. Blue can be the color blue, but you can also feel blue. The feeling, if you feel blue, it means you feel sad. So think about that. Think about what they said to purple, and now purple feels blue. Why do you think purple feels blue? Do you think that statement, we're not sure that you fit here. I think that statement hurt Purple's feelings. I don't think that was very nice. It's okay to color the way you want. So, Purple decided to color alone. But Purple wasn't alone. What you doing? He meets Pencil. coloring. I can fix that for you. But everyone knows that marker can't be erased, right? Sometimes if you get special markers, sometimes those can erase, but most markers do not. And pencil can't fix it. But then pencil has an idea. I have an idea. So pencil says, Color here. But where are the lines? Maybe you don't need lines. Try it. Ah. Some people can draw and color from their imagination and they don't need any coloring book lines. Some people don't like to use coloring books. They just like to draw what they see in their heads. I think that's what purple's going to do. So, purple colored. Look, purple made all kinds of beautiful designs. And pencil drew. So, purple drew the color parts and pencil added some of the detail. I love it. Teamwork and working together. Pencil says, let's do another one. Look how happy they are working together. The other, cramp, the other markers come around and say, what's going on here? Well, this looks like something interesting. They're noticing that there are no color lines and purple is using his imagination and coloring first. And they're, whole, they're together and they go, cool, right? And you know what? The other markers thought it was very cool. <gasps> Tre magnifique. Totally awesome. So they're loving the drawing that purple and pencil are doing together. <gasps> Our turn. Look what they're creating. Pencils doing some sketching. Crayon markers are adding some color. And then here is red. <coughs> Wait, you colored outside the lines again. <gasps> Orange is saying, was that a mistake? Hmm, was it a mistake? And Pencil says, there are no mistakes, only happy accidents and happy markers. So, markers thought you had to draw everything and color everything perfectly in the lines, but perfect doesn't always mean staying in the lines. So they all colored together. And they were the best. And they were the best at. And they were the best at it. Sometimes good readers have to even reread a few times. And they were the best at it. And there is their pictures. 
not totally perfect, but perfect for them. And then it says at the end, or were they? And then they cross off the end because look who's coming to color with them, crayons. And you know you can't erase crayons either. Chapter two or book two of that story. And there they are all coloring together. Boys and girls, did you think about what this story was trying to teach you? Not just coloring in the lines, but if you like to do things your way, it's okay. And your real friends will understand and they like you for who you are. And maybe it's okay to try it a different way. The other markers tried to do it uh, purple markers way and they thought that was kind of fun and that was creative. So perfect for you might be different from someone else but you also don't have to be perfect. I'm sending this message to a special little person who enjoys being perfect. But remember, you don't always have to be perfect and your friends and people who love you are okay with that. Roadrunners, you have a really great weekend. Um, enjoy your Zoom classes. Your families are asked to do a survey online. One is from, it's from Dr. Baker. But it's really important that your families also read Mr. Linker's letter before they complete Dr. Baker's survey. And Roadrunners, have a wonderful weekend. Bye. And remember, don't, you don't have to be perfect. Just be who, you're, who yourself is or who you are. Bye.